Hi, I'm Chris from NAP. We're here to discuss the revolutionary new Kill Zone Broadhead. The two bladed 100 grain Kill Zone comes in three different models the standard version with our proven trophy tip, a cut on contact version with ultra sharp mini blade, as well as a deep six version specifically designed for Easton's deep six line of arrow shafts. Along with its ultra strong construction, the Kill Zone features NAP's legendary blade sharpness. Sharp blades are critical to putting that game animal down as fast as possible. Sharp blades equal maximum knockdown power. The Kill Zone is specifically designed to always open when it hits an animal and never open in flight. It will easily stay closed when placing your arrow into a quiver. Kill Zones won't even open when being shaken violently. Stalking through dense brush is no problem. The Kill Zone uses a precisely engineered spring clip to hold both blades closed during flight, even out of the fastest bows available. To test blade opening, install the head onto your arrow shaft and push the Kill Zone into a target. Even pushing slowly, the blades will fully open. Never try to open the blades with your fingers as you may be accidentally cut as the blades pop open. The blades may feel hard with fingers, it's okay. They are specifically designed this way to stay closed in flight and will always open when they hit an animal. Sometimes it can be difficult to see that a kill zone has indeed opened in a target, especially black foam targets. Let's demonstrate. Here we are shooting at 20 yards with a deep six kill zone and a hunting setup, 70 pound bow shooting 300 feet per second. Notice that, at first glance, the broadhead appears to not have opened. Upon close inspection, you can see the two distinct slits made by the sharp blades as the head opened on the impact. Now let's repeat the test using a Genesis youth bow that pulls around 13 pounds. The kill zone still opens when it hits the target. Finally, let's try this with a draw length check bow that pulls around 4 pounds. Even with very little kinetic energy, the kill zone opens easily when it impacts the target. Here is a kill zone passing through the backside of a target. Notice the large 2 inch exit hole. Looking at a kill zone that has been shot, you'll notice a small dent where the blade impacted the ferrule on full open. Even a kill zone that has been shot from a lower poundage bow will show these marks to prove that it is open properly. When setting up your arrows, it's important to cut your arrow a little long to prevent the closed broadhead from hitting your arrow rest. The Kill Zone Broadhead is designed for maximum knockdown power on large game animals. Here are a few photos showing the power of the Kill Zone. Notice the extremely large entrance and exit wound holes on these game animals. The new Kill Zone Broadhead by NAP. It's sharp, strong, and absolutely won't let you down. Check them out at newarchery.com. I'm Chris from NAP. Good luck and happy hunting.